Clefs determine what the note names on the staff will be. If you play flute, oboe, clarinet, trumpet or French horn, you'll read music in treble clef. If you play bassoon, trombone, euphonium or tuba, you'll read music in bass clef. And if you play percussion, you'll read music in treble and bass clef. In treble clef, you've already learned that a note on line 2 is named G. The letter names of all the notes on lines are E, G, B, D, F. The letter names of the notes on spaces are F, A, C, E. In bass clef, you've already learned that a note on line 2 is named B. The letter names of all the notes on lines in bass clef are G, B, D, F, A. The letter names of the notes on spaces in bass clef are A, C, E, G. Don't worry about trying to memorize these right away. After some practice reading notes, you'll gain the ability to recognize them instantly. The letter name of a note is the pitch. Pitch is how low or high a note is. Notes lower on the staff have a lower pitch. Notes higher on the staff have a higher pitch. If we put these notes in order from lowest to highest, some interesting patterns emerge. The lowest note on the staff in both clefs is on a line. This is the note E in treble clef and the note G in bass clef. If we go up to the next note, we land on a space. Moving up one more note, we land on a line. Then a space, then a line, space, line, space, line. We can also see how the notes form the musical alphabet. The musical alphabet is a lot like the English alphabet, except it only uses the letters A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Unlike the English alphabet, it can be written forwards and backwards. And when we get to the end of the musical alphabet, we start over in a never-ending loop. A scalar sequence is when three or more notes are in alphabetical order. Scalar sequences can be written forwards or backwards. And since the musical alphabet is a loop, scalar sequences can loop as well. You must learn to recognize when notes form a scalar sequence and when they do not. You may have already seen flats and sharps, but if you haven't, this is a flat and this is a sharp. Flats and sharps are types of accidentals. Even if this is your first time seeing accidentals, using them is quite easy. Simply place a flat or sharp in front of the note head of a note. This will slightly change the name of the note. In treble clef, a note on line 2 is named G and a note on space 1 is named F. By adding flats, they become G flat and F flat. By adding sharps, they become G sharp and F sharp. In bass clef, a note on line 2 is named B and a note on space 1 is named A. By adding flats, they become B flat and A flat. By adding sharps, they become B sharp and A sharp.
You can always return to this video by scanning the QR code in your band code binder or by searching for the QR code number in YouTube.